Hey guys and welcome to another video. I'm so excited because look what just arrived at my doorstep, literally. So I'm so excited to put this together. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do live in California and summers here are endless. So right now we're at about 100 degrees and my dogs are inside because it's so hot. This is what came in the box and this filter, I got it. Uh, it's a 75 gallon filter but I got this because I do have a pool filter but it's too complicated to set it up because this is a kiddie pool and it doesn't have the intake and outtake so we're just going to set it up as best as possible. So let's start by rinsing out this whole area and for that I have my very fashionable plastic shoes. I don't want to wet my sandals so we're going to work with these. Let's start off by rinsing the area to make sure that there's as little as possible debris so that nothing can really cut into the liner. This pool will be set up specifically for Hachi. The little dogs absolutely do not go into any sort of pool. They don't like it and I don't like to force them. Now, it doesn't really come with instructions. This is the only thing that came with it and it didn't really help. Uh, so I have all my pieces here and I'm pretty much gonna time lapse the rest of the build because I did have to figure out some things on my own. So let's get that time lapse to start right now. Whew, okay, this took me about 25 minutes to set up and one thing that I didn't notice is that it has a drain right there and that comes in pretty handy when you want to drain the pool. So let's get this thing filled up and in the process of me filling it up, I'm going to be stretching the bottom of the liner to make sure that I get rid of as many wrinkles as possible to prevent bacteria from growing in there or anything like that. And while we wait for the pool to fill up, let's go back inside and set up our filter. Now, before anybody says anything, I know this is an aquarium filter and I knew that from the beginning. I bought it specifically simply to create some water movement in the pool because I don't want to have still water in the yard where potentially mosquitoes can nest or anything like that. I do have an above ground pool filter for a pool that we don't use. But that is for a 2,000 gallon pool and like I said again, this small pool has no intake or outtake and since it's only going to be set up for a few months, I don't want to go through all the trouble of having to uh, cut out holes for intake outtake so I figured this would be the easiest way to do it. There's a few reasons why I chose this filter. As you guys can see, it has two media bags, potentially filtering out as much debris as possible. But I, what I also did like is the fact that you can control how fast you want the cascade to fall uh, by closing and opening this little knob. Another thing that I really liked is that you can choose how deep you want the intake uh, tube to go. And I think the deeper into the pool, the better. That way you can pull as much debris as possible. And I do wanna show you guys that when we set it up in the actual pool. So follow me outside and let's see how our pool is doing. It's made some progress, but let's go ahead and set up the filter and get it going. At the end of the video, I am gonna show you guys how uh, you can manually control the cascade on this filter, which I think it has some pretty good power. So let's go ahead and go get Hachi and surprise her because she hasn't seen the setup yet.
nice and cool, Hachi? Are you nice and cool? So hot outside, huh? Good girl. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Look at this, it's so cute. You want to tell everybody how you escaped the other day? Hmm? No? Okay. That shit was so cute. But here is what I was telling you guys. Uh, how you turn this little uh, knob right here and you can control how um, strong you want the current in from the filter. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, like the video. If you are happy that Haji has her pool now for the summer and... Uh, leave your comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!